So that moves us on to our topic of the show. Again, I'm loving these transitions. I know, I know. It's Why just, don't we do them like this? It's just much Very easier. It's just much easier to so do it this way. <laughs> topic of the show. I like to just do random vo- vo- voices and just see what happens. So, uh, yeah, this is our topic of the show. Uh, today's topic is what our most anticipated games are of 2023, which you probably know because it's in the title of the video. And uh, I assume you read it before you clicked the video. Yeah. So, uh, all th- they just clicked for our lovely faces. You've got to get a bit of click through from having me and Davey on the show. This is true. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, so we're gonna <laughs> no sold that completely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Nah, you guys are great. Um, but yeah, we got our three personal. So we've got the top three each because I was thinking we could have done more, but we'd probably be here for four hours if we did like a top ten or whatever. So we're sticking to a top three. Okay. Maybe do honorable mentions if there's a, a game that sl- slipped through the net that none of us have mentioned. But stick with our top three for now. Uh, what order would we like to go in? Should we just... Uh, should we want to go... F- You're the boss. Yeah, You're yeah, the yeah. boss. You <laughs> dictate, mate. You dictate. So I was I was just going to do it on the way the sc- my screen's laid out. So I would have Phil go first, I I think, and then Davey, then me. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Phil, what is your third most anticipated game for the rest of 2023? Well, Lewis, my third most anticipated game for the year of 2023 is a little game and i know davy's already rolling his eyes in the back of his head oh, because go. i cannot wait cannot wait for armored core <gasps> fires of rubicon <laughs> now what a name the fires of rubicon rubicon every time i hear that i just think of the drink but regardless <laughs> armored core has always been a series i've loved as you can see behind me i'm a yeah. big robot guy i like my transformers I love my Gundams, and I love my Armoured Core. I've got every single version of Armoured Core up on my shelf, and I cannot wait for this next one. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of people really excited about this game. Obviously, I'm following the official channels rather than anyone that's critiquing it too heavily. Um, But it is the game where you dive around in metal suits, metal mechs, and you armour them up. You get different guns and fly around the sky blasting each other it's my dream as a kid really to drive a Gundam and I get to do that in this new edition of Armour Core so yeah really really looking forward to it comes out the 25th of August and a little nod because it is an Xbox game as well as PlayStation 5 game so I thought I'd start off with that one Um, Armour Core 6 Fires of Rubicon that would be my first choice right around the corner that is fair and it's a From Software game uh Davy does not seem amused though. So I, I, I'm. You're not into this, are you, Davy? Like, what, what, what's, what's the deal? The thing is, right? I love FromSoft. I absolutely adore them. I've loved like all their games they've done ever since Dark Souls, right? But the thing is, I played Armor Core and it's shit. Like, it's so <laughs> mid. It's unbelievable. And the thing is, like, all these people that are like, oh, FromSoft's doing it. it's going to be great. They're going to get into it and realize. That it's a fucking, it's a it's a mech game. That's not all about the mech combat. It's about like, oh, how much of my bullets have I used? Have I got enough? Do I want to rerun this? Do I want to change this on my suit? It's like a, it's like a sim game with robot fighting kind of there. And people don't realize this. And when this game comes out, there's gonna be pushback. I guarantee it. Because everyone's seen the combat, saying looks slick, and it does. But then you've got to do everything else in Armored Core. <laughs> So I don't think people understand this about Armored Core at all. It's a bit like buying Eve, the PC game, and thinking you're going to fly a spaceship. Because actually <laughs> it's just a glorified spreadsheet. Uh, uh, and Armored Core is, is very much the same. There's a lot of menus oh, wow. um, where you can tweak your uh, mechs. A bit like Gran Turismo, I suppose, if you've got the car side of things. Ooh. There's a little bit of tweaking in that. Uh, but Armored Core definitely does take it to the nth degree. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, be warned. I enjoy all that. So why I mean, not? I hope it is good. It's I've got it on the fantasy draft. If you guys know about the fantasy draft, the uh, we uh, basically you picking games that you think are going to review well. I mean, I've got it on the, my fantasy draft because I thought it would review well. If it's if it's bad, I'm going to be very disappointed because it's going to screw my bloody team up. <laughs> I don't I, I, like it. I, I I think with Armor Core, I think people who like Armor Core are going to like this one. Yeah. I think people uh, that like FromSoft and they like the Bloodborns um, and they like all that, 
they're going to dive in because it's the same you know developers here and and they'll probably be disappointed by it i would imagine oh, no. yeah i think that's yeah, the way it's going to go so you're going to we're, we're going to get slaughtered all the armor core for, uh <laughs> fans we really are no bonfires or estes flasks or anything like that you don't drink any like yellow oh, no. drinks no okay that's a bit uh worry can you <laughs> can you roll around and slash stuff in the butt i mean that's like the key of a, of a form of a from software game right like you just roll around and like poke you can kind of you can straight it's a lot of strafing if i remember right yeah, the armored core isn't it oh, phil and then just shooting lasers that's pretty much it right i mean that's dark get a souls laser to me. sword at some stage i'm sure yeah four I'm, sword i mean that's possibly. pretty dark souls to um, me. yeah you are right there is a there is a lot of strafing <laughs> 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 but like if you love that yeah you're just gonna get more of this right yeah. so exactly. if you're a fan of the series it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm you get excited. to play on a modern console which we haven't for a long time yeah i'm, I'm happy for you i'm happy for you uh, I, I, you're right though. There's going to be a big realization that actually, you can't rely on what FromSoft have done before. Like <laughs> this is, you need to know. You need to know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm not as excited as you are, Phil, but I'm definitely going to give it a try for sure. Because you know, we'll try. I like, I like, ro- I like robots. Things. I like sci-fi. I'm, you know, I'm totally down to try it out. Uh, so Davy, what is your number three? on your list well i got i got choices i got choices here and and this is where i don't know whether or not i play the game a little bit because am i allowed to put something that's already come out years and years and years ago in this list that is getting a new release yes because yes. i've got it in my list as well i think i've got it on go my on list then. as well <laughs> all right number this is three. what i think it is i was gonna go for stellar blade oh okay but Instead, if I'm allowed it, I'm going to go for the Metal Gear Solid Collection. <laughs> yeah, that's the awesome. Master Collection Volume <laughs> 1, releasing on the 24th of October 2023. My God, what more can you want? The original Metal Gear Solid with trophy support, that's a selling point in itself. But you get Metal Gear Solid 2, you get Metal Gear Solid 3, you get Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2. All these games in one beautiful little collection coming out at the end of october oh yeah. my I, favorite game of all time yeah had to be in the list it was gonna be my number three but i think i might change my number three now but yeah that was i love i love metal gear solid as well i'm very we, we all do i mean we might as well just do a metal gear solid podcast at some point uh i cannot wait i can't wait to play the six out of ten metal gear solid one again i can't wait i could <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> haunts me that score. Oh, no, no, Haunt. 10 out of 10. Great, one why of the is that a meme? Ever. Why, why it, haven't we made that as a meme? Yet? I'm trying my best, <laughs> I'm trying my best to make that. Go into back a meme. and flip it for us, <laughs> Stuart, please. You, you mention it a lot, but we mention it a lot as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every time Metal Gear Solid comes out, we, we have to put the boot yeah. in the dispenser if you... because you are right, he did rate the original Metal Gear Solid, the, the PS1 uh, Metal Gear Solid, um, oh. a six out of 10. No, no, it hurts. It hurts. How can you do that? It's just horrible. Oh. It's like if you like, I don't even know how you could say it's like it's six out of ten now because he's like saying it's all modern standards and all that. You play it now, it still holds up amazingly well. Yeah, okay, it's a bit blocky, yeah. but like the acting and the character, and the gameplay still holds up amazingly well for a game that just like you could you could tell someone this this was made like retro inspired game that was made this year is tell someone that and they probably believe you because it just holds up that well the original Metal Gear Solid game you know I no, I don't understand so it. iconic I don't understand just so it. iconic I, I mean everything about it is just perfection to me yeah I'm, obviously I'm super biased but yeah. on Spencer's own Yola. internal scales it runs something like it's a 6 out of 10 but according to him it's the best game on PS1 and back then it would probably be like a nine or a ten, but now that slipped to a six. Okay. His his scales never make sense. <laughs> it's not a VR game because he's got a completely different scale for VR because apparently VR games aren't real games. He told us in the last episode. So <laughs> who knows? Who knows when he rates things? Honestly. So I've got a dilemma when it comes to the Metal Gear Solid Collection. I think I said this on Twitter the other day. Do I get it on Xbox so I get all the achievements, get it in 4K and have all the like well bells and whistles, or do I get it on the Switch so I can play it while I poop? Like that is the big question. What like which version do I get? Do I get the Switch version or the Xbox version? I know you guys will just say PlayStation. How often do you poop? To me. <laughs> 
Well, have you seen me? I'm, I've, I think quite a lot would be the answer to that. Also, if you, if you I poop fly... a lot, then you, yeah. you might want to go for the the poop console. Also, I what fly I to Australia both? every couple of years. Yeah. Uh, why poop, not poop. both? Because I'm you, not rich. You've got. You could start. <laughs> you could start the one. You could start like Metal Gear Solid Three on, on the poop. Yeah. And, the poop and then you could enjoy the majesty of Metal Gear Solid One, on the big screen. Uh, on the TV. I mean, I do so fly I to Australia every f two or three years as well, which is like a twenty-four hour flight there and back. So that's a Metal Gear Solid game right there. Um, are, are you going the end of October? I'm not going this year. I'm going next year, early next year, probably. We're going. Oh, you don't so. want to save the game that long. You want to blast this out. I mean, I could play it six or seven times. Like I've, I've already play replayed it loads of times. I'll probably replay it again by that point. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for it. Uh, if you guys want to help me pay for it, join my Patreon. Links in the description. <laughs> you can help me buy Metal Gear Solid for both consoles, because that's what I'm gonna need. I need to like win the lottery or something. But yeah, I'm very excited for Metal Gear Solid. I mean, Phil, we know you're excited for it as well. Do, do you want to talk a little bit about Metal Gear Solid Collection and your excitement for it? Um, yeah, sure. Um, it, it was in my list as well, so oh, I'm scrambling yeah. around at the moment just in case you are going to ask me for a third and I don't have a third one lined up. Oh. Silly me for not having a backup. Uh, right. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid uh, Master Collection. Obviously, it's uh, it's a day one. Um, October's looking pretty busy because there might be another game which we'll mention uh, when it loops back round to me, uh, which is that PlayStation 5 exclusive, which we are potentially going to mention. It might not we be. going to mention. We might not and, need to and, look and that comes out, And that comes out four days earlier, uh, on the 20th of October. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a jam-packed month. Um, but Metal Gear Solid, you, like, I, I'll, I'm still playing through Metal Gear Solid over and over again. It's one of those games uh, that I have. Um, and I'm speaking to loads of different people who, who play games and, and, and re-go through games pretty much every year. Okay, So Half-Life yeah. is one for me. I'll, I'll always play Half-Life uh, pretty much every other year. I, I'm going through playing that that game because i just love it so much and, and metal gear solid the original is, is the same um we we did a whole spoiler cast from the past yes. around metal gear solid and it was just me and davy just quoting it up the wazoo and out of the wazoo <laughs> and spencer there just a little bit confused about why we were so passionate about this game but it is very much a game <laughs> to be played and loved and as soon as you do you'll be ultimately passionate about it and i'm sure your listeners as soon as they play it if they haven't played it before they'll be ringing up and asking to join our kojima podcast which we'll be launching soon i love that the idea of them ringing us like on their telephone like hello the xbox box hotline is coming soon i'm gonna have to fund that with our patreon again links in the description uh, <laughs> uh yeah i mean metal gear solid collection was gonna be my number three and you uh, well you mentioned the game you mentioned where you're gonna probably mention when you go around and you're not gonna be going around because that's my number three at the moment oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> sorry you still my, keep it in your list short episode still keep, still keep it in your list mate. my number three is spider-man 2 for the playstation the reason I own a PS5 is Spider-Man 2, and I should have waited for the Spider-Man 2 Special Edition, because that looks sick, and I want it. And I only got a PlayStation, so I'm like, no! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, that's yeah, you got no, you got, you got no chance now of buying the covers either. They oh, totally sold out. No no joy, I'm afraid, mate. You're, oh, wow. you're totally out of options. Yes. So, <laughs> but yeah, it looks, absolute, it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, Spider-Man... The original Spider-Man, and then the Sp I got I got the remake on PS5, and then Miles Morales, and I got Mario Bros. on PS5. I have four Platinums on that. So those two games, played them twice through to get four Platinums. Those games are absolutely incredible. I enjoy them so much. They're my favourite PlayStation franchise at the moment. And the, again, the reason I bought a PS5 was for Spider-Man 2. And I got impatient. I was like, I'll just buy it now. <laughs> to say that, the price has gone up since I bought a PlayStation 5. So I did do it, buy it at the right time. Technically. It's, it's back down now, mate. It's cheaper uh, than ever. No. It's like, it's back a lot at the minute. Yeah. No. It's, it's, it's like $300 <laughs> quid. Yeah. I need to go back. <laughs> yeah, to, you done, mate. I need to go back to play God of War. But then I'm also getting distracted by Ghost of Tsushima. But anyway, Spider-Man. Awesome. What if you like? If you have a PlayStation or you consider getting a PlayStation, I would say that's like the best game. Personally, my favorite game on PlayStation is Spider Man, the Spider Man series. So one Miles Morales and two looks awesome. Uh, what do you guys think? 
Yeah, this comes in. Uh, well, we might as well be skipping. To me, I, I guess this comes in at my number two uh, on my most anticipated games list. Uh, going to Spider Man Two. Uh, yeah, mega hyped. I mean, we know exactly what we're going to be getting. It's going to be more of uh, Spider Man, but now with extra mobility options and extra ways to be able to switch between the heroes and see Miles's power set and see Pete's gadgets and the symbiote. And I've always just been a massive fan of Venom. Yeah. So seeing the the black suit Spider Man is always my favorite. So to be able to run around with that and get all like emo and angry and, and all that <laughs> stuff, all about a nice bit of vengeance. Yeah. So I'm hoping that uh, the Spider Man just lets loose with those powers. And for what we've seen, Insomniac, well, they just don't really miss, do they? No. So it's going to be another phenomenal experience. So can't wait. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be an Eddie Brock story either. It looks like it's going to be uh, Harry Osborn. I mean. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be different. They're gonna have a brand new storyline for this version of Venom, like in the Venom, in the Insomniac verse or whatever. It might not even be. I don't know who it's gonna be, but it's gonna be interesting. They got their own take on Venom, which I like. The I like that they're not just following the comic books; they're doing their own take on it, which is gonna be great. Like the different characters in the Miles Morales series as well, which I thought was really interesting. Um, so yeah, um, Phil, are you. I, I, this was your number three as well, was it? Or two or one? I, it was in your list anyway, right? Yeah, um, this this is top of the list for me. Mm. Uh, I'm a massive uh, Spider-Man fan boy. Um, my name on the internet for years has been uh, Venom Phil after oh, yeah. Venom. Uh, I'm, I'm a massive fan of, of the series and I, I eat it up. Um, we have all bought on the PlayStation podcast uh, the Collector's Edition, uh, which comes with this Ooh. humongous... Um, Venom statue and okay. uh, you have Peter and Miles uh, kind of attacking him and, and I'm still looking around my room at the moment because it is full <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> to get rid of uh, so we, we have conversations quite a lot to uh, say when we get a new collector's edition something old has to kind of go or go up the loft um, so yeah I, I need to look around my room of what, what I can ditch off because that statue's going on show because it looks beautiful right. um, yeah the game itself um, really really can't wait um, we've been speculating on it since um, every snippet of information that we've got from all the different shows and we've been going wild of the story and, and I like the way you're saying that it's going to go away from the comic books I, I kind of believe that it probably will end up in, in, in the bell tower at some stage with Venom oh, yeah. um, and the symbiote and, and we, we, we've got to do the, the cliche moments from the, the, the series and we, we're going to recreate it in, in this insomniac verse that you've uh, <laughs> lovingly uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> given the name there I really like that um, I might use that in the future that'll be stolen um, but yeah I as I said everything within this game just looks amazing the combat the story um, the characters that are in it it's all me at the moment so it's all coming up Phil and yeah all to the Clax edition obviously it's day one um, might have to take a day off work for this one. Oh yeah for sure I uh, like is um as long as we don't get the guy from that 70s show was Venom, I'm going to be happy, I think. Uh, I can't even remember his name now. Uh, <laughs> Toby, was it Toby Grace or something? Oh, like yeah, that? similar. Yeah, yeah. Similar yeah. Oh, my God. If you guys haven't seen Spider-Man 3, the original, with Tommy Maguire, oh, my God. It's it's bad, unfortunately. Uh, but, I, yeah, I can't wait for this game. I kind of want the limited edition now you've said it, and now you've put that in my head. I haven't ordered it or got it. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to buy it normally, but uh, you have made me think. Does it come with a digital code, or is it, does it come with a disc? Because most PlayStation yeah, have digital, digital codes. Yeah, digital. Mm. So you don't actually get the, uh, mm. the disc. And as a annoying. physical collector, uh, I raged about this. I, it really mm. annoys me. The God of War one was the same. You, you opened up the, the steel book, and there's nothing in there. That's a shame. But it makes sense for people who have like a PS five digital only and then they think they can still get I the collector's that. edition. I know. True. I know. But it's just, uh, we have the same arguments with one of the games on my list where like people are saying like why isn't that why the the, the collector's edition has no digital code so well the series S doesn't have a disc drive so you have to <laughs> like you'll have to have a digital code for it. So it's the same thing, same problem. Um but yeah I'm very excited for this. Uh I'm not sure if I'm getting it day one. I might be getting it for Christmas and leaving it a little longer. I'm not sure because I have a lot of games to play up until that point, but I am very excited for it for sure. I'm not quite sure. I might just play Metal I don't know. I'm, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> you should, I, is, I, I am like, I really want to play it because it's Spider-Man and Spider-Man's awesome. Like, so I'm like, mm. um, 
So I don't know if you've got a, a replacement number three, Phil, or if you want to like just give us an honourable mention or something. If you don't, I, I, or you can go back around to the Davy again. It's, it's up to you. No, no, I, I, I'm more than happy to talk about another game because there is, there is a few other games, obviously. Okay. We're in the PlayStation Nation here, right? I'm a proud <laughs> member. There's a, a, a hell of a lot of games that I right. go through, but one of the ones that have sort of, you know, get in my eye lately um, is Fort Solace. Um, this is uh, an action adventure game, um, but it has very horror roots within it. Um, and it's a thriller, apparently, set on uh, the far side of Mars. I'm um, really interested in this one. There was a 14-minute trailer, which I've just had on in the background, um, that was released uh, a, a while back. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really eating up everything that's coming out of Fort Solace at the moment. Um, it does say it's an action game, which confuses me, because everything I've seen is, is, is walking around and kind of piecing the story together with this one. So I don't know where the action comes into it. Maybe it comes after the 14-minute trailer that we see. Um, but with this one, there's going to be a lot of exploration. I think it's going to be one of those spooky ones that you're going to be walking around. There's potentially going to be some jump scares in it. Um, but I'm down for it. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. This would come in probably slightly less than Armored Core because I'm an Armored Core stan and Marvel sure. Spider-Man 2 and Metal Gear. Um, <laughs> but it's on my list. It's, it's a game that I will be buying um, sometime in the future when it comes out. So uh, Q3 2023. I haven't heard of this game. Is this Was this one of the ones featured in Jeff Keighley's uh, horror space spectacular show where you basically had like yeah, six or yeah. seven games that looked exactly the same? They're all like space and yeah. horror themed, yeah. Oh, uh, is it the one with it, um, to uh, with um, Troy Baker in it, or is it or is it a different one? It's the one with Troy Baker in. That's the one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it looked good. It looked good. And, da and Davey, you 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 were laughing about that because uh, I think that presentation literally they were just going back to space. Every game was like, "Are <laughs> yeah, we going to take you this time <laughs> to space, space via the dream?" Yeah, <laughs> the dream. Dead, dead no, space, for, for, Callisto. For, <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Fort Solace looks great. I mean, coming out if I remember rightly, in coming out in August, coming out this month, Ooh, isn't it? Wow. I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. PlayStation Five console exclusive. Um, yeah, it looks Ooh. looks like a looks like it'd be interesting. I still don't know. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna review it for my channel. I think, but I don't know what I'm gonna walk into. I don't know if it's gonna be very much like a kind of story game, something like Life is Strange kind of esque, or if it's gonna be something different i I have no idea but i Dead think space. it's that unknown and that little i know about it is kind of fueling my curiosity mm -hmm. so i'm definitely going to be checking it out uh gonna be a day one for me i'm gonna review it for the channel 100 percent. so yeah looking forward to playing it you guys will have to let me know what it is. I'll, I'll watch your review on ssj davy on youtube i will be watching your review uh, <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah, because I'm probably not going to buy it, but I'm going to definitely look at your review and see what you think of it, and uh, I'll judge it from that because they've got so much to play. Because this year is insane when it comes to it comes to games. Uh, so yeah, Davey, what is your number two? Well, my number two we covered already, which is Spider Man. Yeah. Um. So my number three space was MGS. Then number two was Spidey. So I could throw an honourable mention here, or yeah. I can go straight to number one. What would you want to do, Lewis? Um, How do you want to do it? Should we just do an honourable mention, I guess, for now, and then we'll we'll go we'll do cool. our, we'll do our number ones after I've done my number two. That sounds weird. Okay, but you so, know what I mean. That's all right. Well, that's that's good because I've got options. I had three set for number three, so I, I've got options to work with here. Good. So uh, I'm going to go with the one that would have made my number three if MGS wasn't allowed, which is Stellar Blade. So Ooh. Stellar Blade is um, a game which Spencer's got his eyes on because the woman that's got a big old fat ass <laughs> and she's running around <laughs> slicing up monsters, but. It's, uh, it's done by a Korean studio called uh, Shift Up. Uh, now, it's set for release this year, although we haven't heard about it for a little while now. And if the rumours are true and we get a PlayStation Showcase, there's still hope for this year. However, if not, I could see it being pushed into 2024. But everything we've seen about this game just looks fantastic. It looks so slick. The combat is just straight out Devil May Cry. It looks just a bit of me. So I, I can't nice. wait for this one. I, I'm really excited by it. And uh, and seeing this Korean studio step up, so they've been doing a lot of work um, around China and Korea and all these different like smaller developers, bringing them up onto the main stage. This game looks graphically phenomenal. Done on UE4, I believe, yeah. instead of UE5. But um, hell, sign me up. I, I can't wait to see more about this game. And so far, everything I've seen has been really, really exciting. So 
yeah, this is definitely on my list if it comes out this year or not. Is a uh, another thing entirely though. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Who knows? It looks interesting. Yeah, I've seen that one. It looks very interesting. Uh, very uh, weeby. Looks very uh, anime. Yes. Like what are you ja- <laughs> What about Japanese animes? Uh, I feel it, it looks alright. Yeah, I think it looks cool. Kind of gave me Bayonetta kind of vibes, really. I know it's like sci-fi, but you know, like yeah. kind of gave me that kind of vibe to it. I don't know. It looks interesting for sure. Again, one of those things you'll have to. Sh- I'll have to watch a review or whatever. I'll see what you guys have to say about it when it comes out. Uh, so. My number two is not again not an not an Xbox game, not a PlayStation game. It is Super Mario Wonder because that game looks really fun. It looks like Super Mario Bros. Four basically. It looks like a it's a brand new two D Super Mario Brothers game. I'm a sucker for two D Mario. You can turn into an elephant. It looks like a drug trip. I'm totally down for it. I mean, it looks really fun. And this is also another reason why I was thinking maybe I might like a Spider-Man Day 1 because it comes out the same day as Spider-Man. So I was like, play, play Mario Ooh. Wonder. Uh, play Mario Wonder. But it's like Mario Wonder, I'll literally complete it in like a week and then I'll be free to just do whatever because like, I know what I'm like with Mario games. I'll just binge them and just complete it like really quick. Uh, so I mean, I, I know Spider Man is a game I'm going to be playing for months and trying to get the platinum for and everything. So I thought, get Super Mario Wonder out of the way, then binge Spider Man. Probably <laughs> that was my idea anyway. Because why does they come out on the same day? They're the two, my number three and my number two, and they come out on the same bloody day. It's so annoying. <laughs> why? Yeah, they really do. <laughs> but yeah, Mario. And Spider Man for sure, but yeah, Mario Wonder. You guys have got any interest in this at all, or? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I do. So my son's mega into Mario. Uh, it's it's one of the things that I gave him a Switch on his third birthday, or what was it? His fourth? It doesn't matter. Anyway, and we've played loads of loads of games together. And so the, the thing is with like the Mario games these days, they, they can all be played co op in some form, like even Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Someone can take be cappy or whatever yeah. and so this is this is a game that he's getting for christmas oh. uh well he's, he's getting for like a late birthday present really i've already pre-ordered it for him he knows it's coming but obviously it comes out in october so we'll be playing that together and uh just having a good bit of fun with it although nice. i've got to say i'm not the biggest fan of 2d mario <sighs> I, i'm just not very good at it <laughs> i didn't grow up on it. it was a sega kids so it was always like deaf to mario um, so it's not going to be like my preferred thing. It's not like going to be Odyssey was, where I was really excited for it. But yeah, it's it's going to be fun to play with my son anyway. Yeah, oh, that's nice. It's really oddly sweet for this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not enough. Di- not enough dicks and fart jokes and or anything here. We we need to we need to lower the the tone a bit. <laughs> Raise it up a little bit. You know, get some bit of class into it. You know, before I hand it over to Phil, so we can talk about. How he's going to be wanking off to the elephant or whatever he's going to be doing. <laughs> right. Uh, well. <laughs> just bring it back wow. down. Like, it back wow. down. I mean, he just looks thick, doesn't he? Like Mario, when he's at the elephant, it's like, ooh, nice thick Mario. It's like, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's an elephant, isn't it? You know, yeah. The thickest creature. <laughs> kind of on land, really. I it? mean, could you beat that so, in, a, in a fist fight? Like, for it back to your podcast, where you're talking about fighting a bear, a hippopo- what was it, hippo, bear, Tiger, crocodile, crocodile and then Old just croc, yeah. Mario elephant. I chuck that in there. <laughs> I think, I think if it was Mario as the elephant, yes, I yeah. could, because I think he wouldn't really want to engage in too much like bloody combat. He's used yeah. to things like respawning or coming back. He likes squashing things. To... He does, but then I think <laughs> I'll get on that trunk, and that's a weakness. You can yeah. climb up that straight in the eyes of Mario, <laughs> and he's he doesn't know what to do. Then he doesn't have the primal rage that an elephant has. So I think that his human side, or whatever he is, if he is human or not, um, that would weigh him down, I reckon, in this fight. So yeah. Mario elephant, I could take. Normal <laughs> elephant, no fucking chance. No yeah. way. I'd be speared on the tusk, <laughs> hit by the trunk, squished. No chance. Yeah. So, Phil, we kind of, sorry, I kind of derailed our conversation a little bit there. Phil, what do you think of uh, Super Mario Wonder? Well, I've got a bit of an admission uh, for the podcast. <gasps> And I know we've been in such a positive vibe here, a posy vibe, if you like, um, for Mario, uh, since we were talking about it a little bit earlier. Um, but my admission to you guys is I haven't played a modern Mario game since Galaxy, I want to say. or I don't even no. think I've really spent a lot of time in Galaxy. 
So the one before that, that would that be Sunshine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Before Galaxy, yeah, with Sunshine. Yeah. So yeah. Sunshine was probably the last Mario I completed and spent any meaningful time in. Wow. Um, don't get me wrong, game looks gorgeous. It's going to be amazing. All the Mario games are. They don't tend to put out nope. duds, Nintendo. They know what they're doing with that IP. Um, and this one looks crazier than ever, especially because you can turn into a elephant. But <laughs> for me, there's just not really the push there. I, I don't have a son or a daughter or, or really anyone to play the, these games with. And Mario of, of yesteryear was the game that I always used to play with my mum. I'll admit it. I, I used to double up with my mum and play Mario. So I would go Mario. Obviously, he's the best. He's the main character. My mum <laughs> would go in as Luigi. But Luigi would have to go in the ghost mansions. Luigi would have to, you know, fight the bosses. Phil would go through and do the nice fun levels and enjoy himself within it. But my mum would come through strong and she would do the hard levels. So now when I'm facing the uh, the big bads in Street Fighter later on, I'm going to have to get my mum trained up on the fight stick when she wants to come on and take <laughs> Davy and Spence on. So I think I might have to revert to that sometime soon. Uh, yeah, I, so, I mean, I don't have any kids or anything. I just got the mental age of a 10-year-old. That's that's my thing when Mario comes to Mario. So it's like, yay! <laughs> it's Mario! Team Luigi all the way, by the way. Just like it always reminds me when I went to this. It has to be green, doesn't it? With you? I'm, no, I love I green. Is it a choice? Green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the green one. What's yeah, your favorite color on a, tra- on, on a traffic light symbol, Lewis? It's probably the green one, it isn't is it? It's the green one. Yeah, probably yeah. just like the green. <laughs> I, I, I do, I do the love green. green. Well, green was my favorite yeah. color as a kid, to be fair. Like Power Rangers, Luigi, you know, green was awesome, you know, to be fair. Uh, like red. Red Ranger's easily the best. Oh, no, Green Ranger. Man. I, I, or White Ranger. White I know Ranger, Green, yeah. Green Ranger is always... A, Green White's the best. Green, Green yeah, yeah. Ranger's always just like a dick, I reckon. Until <laughs> until he got white. When he got his white up, much better. No, no. <laughs> the frills, mate. The little, the little huge oh, yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah, like, pad. Yeah, like, like the triangle thing. thing mm. Over the top. Yeah. Sick. Power Rangers. Absolutely sick. R.I.P. Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Bringing it down now. Bringing it we're down. getting all kind of emotions. It's all over the place. We're getting a bit of silliness. We're getting it's all over the place. Now. Yeah, yeah. So that is my number two on my list. If, if we, I don't know if we're all going to have different number ones on our list or not. It's going to be interesting. But we will go back around to Phil. What is your most anticipated game that's not Spider-Man, which was your most anticipated game? Just to confuse I see everyone. what you've done there. Yeah. I see what you've done there. Very, <laughs> very, very clever. So I, I, I've had Armored Core. Um, I've had mm. Fort Solace. And the other game, which hasn't been mentioned in a while, and I'm quite surprised, really, because this game, I think, will change gaming. Wow. It's one of those ones that I've been waiting for for a number of years now. <sighs> Take a breath. This is Space Marine 2, Warhammer 40,000. Okay. <laughs> now, guys, where do I start with this one? Let's, let's take it back to the original. Now, this game came out of nowhere. Back in the day, I remember living at my parents. It got delivered to three doors down. I was wondering where it was. We didn't have tracking as good as we do now. I phoned up the company and said, where's my space marine? They said, oh, we delivered to the wrong house. So I had to go around, march around. Got my space marine. Absolutely came that game. There's no better feeling in gaming there is, than having... Power armor on, suiting up, big bolt gun in your hands, and a chainsaw, and going through, slashing out some orcs, slashing up some nids, and taking the bad guys down for the Emperor. Now, this next one looks very, very interesting, because we're twisting, reversing it, and we're doing co-op with this one. You can play it, I believe, three-player, so it's a perfect game for a trio that likes a bit of Warhammer. And I'm definitely going in, the power suit. So if you boys want to join me, I'm sure there's a space open because we've got another guy on the podcast which tends to dunk on the Warhammer brand. <laughs> and I think he's going to live to regret it because this game looks absolutely chef's kiss. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I've not played it, but oh, I like the first one, but I, I have seen it's really good, the first one. I need to go back back and play it at some point. It wasn't it on the... Well, I was going to see the 360, but obviously you wouldn't have played it on the 3. BBS 3, yes. Yeah, so that generation, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks. Look, yeah, the new one looks really cool. I think I saw it in the again in one of the Keeley conferences. I can't remember which one it was, but it looked really rad. Uh, yeah, I'm down for trying that. I'll I'll join you guys. Uh, I'm not too cool for Warhammer like Spencer, you know. 
well, you know, he thinks he's too cool for Warhammer anyway. <laughs> there we go. Good, good, yeah, correction. Yeah. good, good cover. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. Comrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the Emperor. For the Emperor, yeah. <laughs> I still need to play. Uh, what was the other, for, the other Space Marine, the uh, Warhammer game that just came out? Bolt Gun, is it? I need to Bolt, play, Bolt Gun. Yeah, I need to that, play that. that. I've heard that's great. I still haven't played that yet. Really, I've heard really that's fun. really good. It's quite samey. I'll warn okay. you. All right. um, I played it for a few hours when I was traveling somewhere on my Steam Deck. And you play the first couple of levels. It's it's enjoyable. It's it's retro fun. Um, so it's it's called a boomer shooter. I think they've coined it these days. Yeah. That, that term <laughs> tends to come up a lot when you uh, when you Google around uh, bolt gun and the like. But it, it's very much taking you back to the old days of the original Doom. Yeah. Um, but there's not a lot of story. There's not a lot going on in the game outside you running around with a bolt gun just blasting things. Yeah. There's a very satisfying um, sword swipe in the game where you have like a charge move and you go into the bad guys or, nice. or the chaos demons or whatever you're, you're, you're taking apart. And, and the blood and the, and the, the sounds are, are brilliant. But once you've done it a few times, the next hundred is quite boring because they're the same. <laughs> I'll admit okay. that. But right. it, is a fun, it is a fun game. Enjoy it for what it is. It's not a serious game in any, in any realm. Yeah, I'm a little bit off topic, but you say boomer shooter. Are we boomers? I don't think we are. That's like the generation above us, right? We're J. Ge- what? What are I we? I would imagine I am. Okay, so um, the perfect for Phil. I don't. I think I probably yeah because I I played Doom one right. I played it on the PC. Yeah, yeah. When it came out. I think yeah. When it came out. Yeah. I, can never, I might I never, have to fact check me. I never know what generation like we would be considered as. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. We're not boomers. We're not, we're not boomers. 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 No. no, we're not boomers. No. So people, these new, these new kids would probably call damn us kids. boomers, but they don't. They don't know. They don't know enough. The, damn kids boomers, with their Fortnites yeah. and their battle passes. Yeah, bloody. Uh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Get their ultimate teams on FIFA. Mm. Mm. Kids, stupid kids. <laughs> stupid kids. Yeah. Well, you can play them in Mortal Kombat now. Is that boomer to play? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Doom Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Maybe. But yeah, tenth of December, nineteen ninety-three. Apparently, came out the original Doom. Ooh. I was a little fact check. I was four. I was four. Yeah, hey. four. Five. Right. Too young for Doom. <laughs> Too young for Doom. Yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah, Space Marine. Phil, will you mention it? It's not on my list, but it was something that I was debating whether or not I'd put it somewhere because I'm so in for this. It's definitely a day one. Everything we've seen, it's been so exciting. And even though the original PS3 one was kind of like a mid-game, really, uh, but it was really fun, this one just looks like it's a hell of a lot of polish. It looks like they've put a lot of love and care into this. And I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be so much fun to just suit up and just slay. Just absolutely slay all these Pyramids and all these these (laughs) non-believers. And just show them the religion, show the them Xenos. the proper way, the emperor's way. Hell yeah! And and that's uh, that's what it's all about. So can't yeah, I can't slay. wait. Definitely day one for me. Slay queen, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we'll be opting for the blue armor. <laughs> I yeah, mean, the ultramarines. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah, go for the, yeah, the manly ultramarines. Ultra I think as we slay. Oh, man, I haven't played Warhammer in years, man. I need to go back and play some Warhammer. I used to collect the forty thousand like like figures and stuff and i i I was awful at painting them they looked awful but i used to love them so much oh yeah i need to go back and do some warhammer warhammer's great like yeah underrated uh so davy what is your number one uh most anticipated game so my number one hasn't come up yet and it's definitely my number one didn't have to think about it it's hell divers 2 hell divers 2 coming out some date in the future of this year uh, not been given a date yet. The rumor's going wild uh, at the moment that it's coming out in early October. So, I mean, Christ, can you imagine? We got, you know, straight from Helldivers into Spider-Man into Metal Gear. Uh, <laughs> all in one month. I don't know how the hell I'll manage it. Helldivers, uh, for those that don't know, uh, is made by Arrowhead Studios, who are the studio that I really want Sony to purchase. Mm. I don't know why they haven't done it yet. Helldivers 1 came out many years ago uh, on PS3 originally. Yeah. And then had a port to PS4 where it was like the Mega Earth edition. And it had like all the DLC. It had kind of everything in it. It's essentially a world that's very akin to like Starship Troopers. Um, but, and it's a four player co-op. Um, now the original Helldivers is a top down perspective. Friendly fires on. Crushingly hard. 
you got to use a lot of tactics you got to really work together as a tight unit and pick the right things to go into the missions with really really fun and when it all works it's amazing and when it all goes wrong it's funny as hell um and that this hell divers 2 they blow my expectations away when they originally shown it because they've taken it to third person so they put you right in the thick of the action the graphical polish looks incredible and i know that if it's the same gameplay as the as the base game it's going to be one of the best games of this entire generation by the end of it 100 percent, because hell divers always was um a fantastic game a game that's not going to have the biggest pop i don't think it's going to be something that's going to be for a, quite a niche audience as opposed to the rest of like the playstation 5 exclusives yeah. but i'm hoping that word of mouth just grows with this because hell divers always deserved love and it had a huge um community on pc and on playstation and uh still very active game now um mm-hmm. me and spence booted up the other day and uh, did a couple of missions it's just fun so yeah i can't wait for it easy my number one most anticipated game cannot wait i i i kind of thought that would be your number one actually because i i remember you talking about it it's definitely a game we should try and i might actually get and play on my playstation for sure while I wait to play Spider Man, <laughs> I think that'd be worth doing for sure. It looks looks really fun, like third person action shooter. As you said, the original was a twin stick above view, but now it's like third person, so it does look cool. If you guys don't remember it, it was in the PlayStation conference and they had a really silly trailer for like any viewers who don't really remember it. The trailer was really wacky. There's a guy like, over dramatically seeing someone die. I can't remember exactly what happened. He was just like, no, <laughs> but it looks it looks fun. That- <laughs> That's how they get you to sign up to defend Super Earth's army against yeah. these, you know, these uncivilized barbarian bugs. It is and very Star Trek gotta... Troopers, yeah. It's very Star Trek very Troopers. So. Yeah. Uh, so my number one, I mean, I feel like we got a theme of sci-fi here. Actually, surprisingly, there's a lot of sci-fi for our number ones here. My number one is Starfield... Uh, Starfield, yeah. I was going to say something funny. For some reason, I just said Starfield. <laughs> so it's Starfield! Yeah, I was going to say Skyrim in space. Yeah. Uh, that's my my game of the year is Starfield. My most anticipated game of the year is Starfield. Uh, I played Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and I've always said uh, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be my game of the year unless Starfield hits. Like That's the only game I could possibly see being better than Legend of Zelda for me. I mean, it looks so good though. I'm so excited for Starfield. Um yeah, it's like we've been talking about sci-fi just now. Like all our games are sci-fi games. I'm a big star, a big like sci-fi person. Uh, Skyrim is one of my favorite games ever, in spite of the fact of it being like a what medieval, not medieval fantasy. Fantasy, fantasy. fantasy. yeah, fantasy. Yeah, it's and a I, fantasy game. I, but if you ask me, like, would I prefer to watch Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? I would say Star Wars. I'm like a sci-fi person over a fantasy Ooh. person. That's just Ooh. my personal taste. I prefer sci-fi. Star Wars. Ooh. Yeah, I love Star. Well, I, like Star Wars. I love the Star original Wars. trilogy. The original trilogy. Get, yeah. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't know what Alexa doesn't know. She doesn't, doesn't know. She doesn't know what to pick. She didn't know what to pick. But yeah, I, but I'm more of a sci-fi person. I like sci-fi, and the fact that we're gonna get Skyrim, but sci-fi, is totally exciting for me. I'm truly into it. The idea of it is awesome. It might suck. I really hope it doesn't. I mean, it, they've been put a lot of time and polish into this. This is probably the biggest Xbox release ever possibly maybe since like combat evolved on the, the original xbox like this is going to be like the biggest game in xbox history or one of and i'm very excited for it um the 50 fps thing kind of put me off a little bit but i'm still excited for it um i like the idea of just going to a desolated planet and just like exploring like like nothingness i just think that was like rad i just think that's so cool I'm just really excited for it. Honestly, just so much. Like watching the forty. Like I don't know if you guys watched the forty-five minute uh, Starfield direct. It's just. It looks yeah, so it cool. Yeah. It just looks so cool. I can't wait. I'm just so I, excited for I, it. Oh. I really hope it hits, man. Me too. Because, like you say, it, it's got it's got to for you. Like it has to. This year has not been the best year. No. Uh, for Xbox, let's be real. It's not been good at all. No. Though it, it it needs to hit. And I, I think the only concern that I have for you guys is that Bethesda aren't exactly well known for their polish, right? When it comes to, no. like, <laughs> bugs, bugs, right? Bug There's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot. 
Um, and, and I think that's any time you got a game of this kind of scale, it's oh, to yeah. be expected, right? But in this day and age now, you, can you imagine if you had like the shit that was happening on like Skyrim, but you had Twitter back then? Oof, it would God. be so damaging for them. So hopefully, with yeah. the extra time they've taken, they'd be able to resolve some of that stuff. And I mean, bugs are what they are, right? They, they're yeah. in every game. And it's only the odd occasion that it totally cripples a game. Yeah. Um, but I, I hope... I, and I'm not saying this for, for you and for Alice, but the, the like, vocal Twitter people for Xbox are putting this like as if it's going to be the next coming of Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I, I really hope it is for you guys. I really hope so. But um, I yeah. don't know. I, I I'm very tempered expectation at the moment, just because I Bethesda aren't the seal of quality that they used to be. Yeah, for sure. Know, a long time ago. And then on the contrary, you also get the same like similar people on the PlayStation side who are like just waiting to find anything to tear this game down the as well. Bite. So yeah, I, I find it very 100%. frustrating. They can't just enjoy a game these days. Like they always gonna people gonna find issues with everything. It does frustrate do. me, but I'm very excited for it. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I'm just hoping it's not going to be a cyberpunk situation. That's all I'm hoping for, is it's not going to be that bad. And the fact that it's only coming to the current Xbox consoles and PC it gives me hope. And they've given it an extra year of polish where they should have released it like a year and a half ago. That gives me hope as well. And also how much they rely on this game to do well. If you know, if it does badly, then this might even like just tank Xbox completely as a, like a brand. Like This is a really important game for them, for sure. Yeah, Oof. they've they got to do it. And you think the lessons they probably learned from like Halo's launch, right? Where yes. obviously that was delayed and, and everything. And then that launched and wasn't what they wanted it to be. No. Um, I You'd imagine with the amount of hype that's been put on this, like the weight on Todd and the rest of Bethesda's shoulders for this to hit is huge. So um, he Oof. seems confident enough. Yeah. And But, you know, wait and see. It's not long to go now, is it? No, next month I've got I I've pre-ordered the special edition, so I get it the first of September, five days before launch. So I'm gonna book a week off work and then probably cancel my week off work if it sucks. <laughs> but, oh, I hope it doesn't. Man. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I really, I really hope it's good. Uh, but the fact that we got Tears of the Kingdom, Starfield, and Spider Man Two coming out all in the same year is bloody insane. Like that's a lot. That's a lot of gaming to get through. <laughs> Uh, I've managed to beat Tears of the Kingdom, so I can just get that's on the back burner now. I've got to try and get through Starfield before Christmas because that's when I'll be playing Spider Man. Then I'll get through Spider Man. Then it's just a lot to get through. Oh, big games, lots of big games this year. Um, but yeah, Starfield is my number one by far. I I, I couldn't. Even, I was struggling to come up with a number like a number two and a number three on the list for a while because it's like yeah, Starfield's number one. That's like not, not even a question. I was like, but what's two and three? I just took me for ages to think. But number one is is always Starfield for me. I've been very excited for this game, and I hope it don't suck. I really do. <laughs> As I said it's Skyrim in space. Which is like that sounds that's like the like dream game. That sounds like the perfect game for me because I love space and I, lo I love Skyrim. So it's like Skyrim in space, totally sold on it. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, on I'll be listening intently on your podcast and hopefully, hopefully you come out of it like yeah, best game ever, be best thing since sliced bread. But yeah, we'll see. Is there any, we'll see. Do you have any thoughts on Starfield, Phil? Or yeah, of course. Um, I was just waiting for you to bring me in more than Yeah, anything. yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, you've, sold, you've sold me in that little introduction there, uh, Lewis, our, our host of the show tonight. Um, thank you very much for, for bringing us in and, and talking about this game, because I, I, I'm taking the hype. I'm running with this hype, and everything I've seen from this game, uh, the visuals just look spectacular. Uh, I really hope, as we've just been talking, or you guys have been talking, that it lives up to this hype. Mm. Um, because that that's going to be the the real test of time, isn't it? Really, you can put out some really nice polished screenshots. You can put out some nice uh, visuals. You can put out some nice videos. But once we get into the game, I think September sixth. Um, um, the official launch. Yeah, yeah September sixth. Yeah, that's the official launch. It, it it's going to have to back that up then with uh, with some big balls. And yeah, it comes to PC, so I've got the option to actually play this one. Mm. So I'm actually really excited for it. So, uh, yeah, potentially it's going to be on my list. Uh, I'll see what you have to say. I'll be listening intently uh, to oh, your sure. episode after 
um, Starfield launches. See what you guys think about it. Hopefully, as you said, it's not a cyberpunk situation. Hopefully, yeah. it, it is what we're hoping for uh, with this game. But if I'm following the hype train, and I am, I'm down for this game. I really am. I mean, the one thing you can rely on with our podcast is I won't sugarcoat it. If the game is shit, I will tell you it's shit. <laughs> We're gonna see, like you know, if it's a Redfall situation, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And I really hope it is gonna be good. I'm just, uh. Lewis, you're you're the best when you're being negative. Like I love your Twitter for that. <laughs> yeah. When, when you're when you're really rinsing something, I I enjoy all that. So keep it covered, mate. Yeah. But hopefully it's not for Starfield. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. And uh, yeah, I just it's. This year is insane. Like as we've just covered, our games of the like the games we're most anticipated for. There's already been like six months of amazing or eight months of amazing game. Well, we're in the eighth month. Seven, there's been seven months and two days of really great games, and uh, we're in the eighth month for now. We still got loads to look forward to. Uh, let us know in the comments below if there's anything you're looking forward to that we haven't mentioned. Is there any honorable mentions you guys have that we haven't mentioned as well, or? Uh, have you covered it pretty much everything? I've got like an odd couple of things, but we we've gone we've gone a little while on uh, yeah, these yeah, already. Sure. I think and these some big games, so I'm uh, I'm I'm happy leaving uh, leaving <laughs> a couple. That's fair to, to time. To time oh, just in the dust in the wind. Just yeah, just on. Just let it fly by. <laughs> uh, appreciate you guys coming on. So that is the episode. That is uh, X marks the box. I think this is sixty. 60, I don't know. We're in the 60s. We're in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, we really appreciate you listening. As you can tell, Alex is not making this episode, so it is a bit more uh, scattergun, which, uh, you know, that's my style. I like to go with it, so we're just going to stick with it. Uh, I really appreciate both of you guys coming on. Uh, the Invasion of the PSV Trust. Uh, if you guys should check out with PSV Trust, uh, they talk about PlayStation games. Uh, even if you don't have a PlayStation, it is a lot of fun. They talk about fighting hippos and stuff, and they get very drunk, and they talk about random stuff, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and, and we get you on from time to time as well, Occasionally, Lewis. yeah, so yeah, if you yeah. are a Lewis fan, you want to check out those yeah. episodes specifically. You've only just recently been on as well. You should be That's true. that one. Oh, yeah. I can't, which episode was that? That was episode 71? 71? I think 71. 71. Yeah, we, uh, we talk about the Activision deal, which... I think you guys have heard a lot about the Activision deal on this channel. But if you want a second opinion and from a different like a different outlook, you definitely check that out for sure. Um, really appreciate you guys coming on here. If you want to plug your stuff, uh, Davey, do you want to plug your stuff first? Sure. Yeah. If you're a, if you're a fan of um, survival horror games, then you can by all means come along and join the SSJ Davey YouTube channel. Uh, it, it is just survival horror, basically didn't start off that way but that's what it's turned into and that's what i'm rocking with at the moment and with us being in the survival horror renaissance that we currently are in <laughs> i've got too many games to cover so come on by and check it out and it's new videos normally every fortnight or thereabouts so come along just wrapped up the dead space series and moving on now to all the resident evil dlc so i just played uh lost in nightmares which was absolutely Ooh. amazing just as good as i remembered it being when i played it with yourself phil but come along to the YouTube channel, check it out. Reviews coming up very soon. Spooky. Uh, Phil, uh, would you like to plug your stuff? Like anything you want to plug? Plug my stuff? Well, you've yeah. already given us a, a glowing review for the for the podcast. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, so that's Twitter slash Philip Hoy. Uh, not Venom Phil on that one. I do stream from time to time, nothing crazy. Uh, just little bits here and there. Um, but outside that, I don't have a have a, a YouTube channel to plug. Uh, I'm a developer if anyone, anyone needs a website. Uh, uh, <laughs> but outside that, I haven't really got anything to plug, unfortunately, Lewis. Uh, just go and listen to the podcast. Uh, best way to support us, really, um, is just go on our YouTube and subscribe, uh, the same as it is with this fabulous show. So uh, that's two subscribes for any new listeners. Subscribe to Lewis, subscribe to us. We won't let you down. Appreciate Love to it. have you. Uh, really appreciate you guys coming on. Uh, yeah, I just I think I mentioned this earlier that we've just recently hit 200 subscribers. So thank you, everyone Ooh. who's subscribed. Uh, we've been growing quite fast. I'm quite I'm quite proud of our like our growth. Uh, let's try and get the PS Trust guys up to 200 subscribers as well, and let's just keep the channels growing. Really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, if you if you enjoyed the episode, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your grandmother, your auntie. Your dog, you you know anyone you know, just share it. Just put it on in the background and let it play through. 
trying to get as most views as possible. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And until next time, too sweet. Goodbye. So long. Au revoir. Bye-bye now. Too sweet. Peace. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the X Marks the Box podcast. Follow us at X Marks Box on Twitter or X Marks the Box on YouTube. And follow us on all audio podcast services. Thanks for listening. <laughs>